<laughs> okay, Patrick's there. E, maybe it's B colon there. I before E, except after C, or is it before Q? And then <laughs> it's no use. I can't focus. Oh, what a week it's been. First, there was Monday's entitled customer incident. Um, I ordered a medium diet root beer, and this is clearly a large diet root beer. I am so giving this place a one star on Yelp, and I totally demand to speak to your manager for your attitude. Yo, Karen, what's the holdup? Be quiet, honey. I'm trying to get the customer service I deserve. Then there was Tuesday's demanding customer. And I'd like to substitute the cheese for pure, lactose-free, Applewoodian goat cheese. And those olives better be farm fresh from the Ghastly Gorge Farms. Oh, and as for the sauce, it had better be extra thick. Uh, is that how the kids are saying it now? Ah, who cares? Give me my needlessly complicated order, tooth sweet, peasant! And then there was this morning's... J just watch! So, what me? Remember that time we tried to ride those antelopes and they locked us in that haunted car wash? You literally made all that up. Again. Yeah, turns out I'm not really great at keeping track of my own tall tales, turns out. No, yeah! Ugh. And might I add, awk. I am 893% dungeon rings with this week. What else can possibly... <laughs> Why, oh why, do I tempt fate? I knew it was going to happen the moment I said it. I said it anyway. I didn't stop myself. Why didn't I stop myself? This happens almost literally every other week. Here we go. Hello. Pie's Pizzeria. Who better to cook a pie than a pie? What do you want? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Jasper. Uh, sorry if I'm interrupting anything. It has been a while since we last had a chat. Wait, Doc? Yay! <laughs> sorry about that. I've kind of been having a week. <laughs> so, uh, how are things? How is the good pupper doing? I've been doing fairly well. I've honestly been really enjoying your contributions down in Coal Town, Mr. Jasper. And I wanted to send my appreciation. Though I sense that you've been overly stressed as of late? Oy and how? Between TF2 practice, writing projects, audio stuff, and dealing with stu- uh, uh, unpleasant customers? Yeah, that's a nice way to say it. I think my brain's in a gas leak. I can imagine. Well, I do hope that a calm and quiet atmosphere can be helpful for you at a time like this. Yeah, a little calm and quiet is nice. Until it gets too quiet, and then all you have is your thoughts to listen to, and your brain starts running a thousand miles a minute, and you're stuck double-guessing every single little thing you did over the past eight hours, like, is Harmony's Day off this week or next? Where did I put that cheese cutter last week? Oh, why did I step on that ladybug yesterday? Did I have a family? Are they gonna seek revenge? Yee! I... uh... well... Maybe we should move away from calm and quiet, then. Have you found any time to walk around the neighborhood? Perhaps visit a friend or two to help you find a distraction. Eh, I thought about it, but I really didn't want to bother anyone with my problems. And I actually did walk around the neighborhood yesterday. Then I saw a clown and a hobo get in a street fight. Then I ran inside and hid in the freezer. And let me tell you, I got freezer burned in places I cannot say in present company. Uh, you... Did you say clown? I... Oh, never mind. I probably shouldn't even ask. Hooey. Okay. How about writing some of your thoughts down on paper so as to gain a new perspective on what's been troubling you? Maybe work through some of that pent-up creativity. Eh, I tried that. But then I got distracted thinking about another project I'm working on. Then I just completely lost track of what I was doing altogether. Apparently, I was even stressing out over it while I was walking, because the next thing I know, BAM! Right into the mailbox! Also, unrelated notes, people should really be more careful with their stamps. I... Okay, then. I must admit, Mr. Jasper, my normal methods for helping others seem to be running into a wall here. I am very much trying to find some way of helping you feel less overwhelmed and stressed out. 
but I think I might be making it a little worse for you. I honestly feel as though I'm out of my element here. Wait, I heard a light bulb. What are you thinking, Doc? Or maybe I shouldn't be thinking about this in terms of my element. <clears throat> I say there, Jasper, is your refrigerator running? Jeez, oh, is it really doing this? Uh, fine. Why, yes, Doc, it certainly is running. Well, it had better go out and catch you. Or, wait, uh, you should go out and catch it. Ah, hang on, <laughs> I think I should try again. <clears throat> Doc, Doc, my compadre, my boss, my literal dog. It is time to cease! Wait, hold on. I'm sure I can get this if I try. <sighs> All right. If you really want to try again, Fizzgig, thrill me! Ugh. That really shouldn't keep affecting me so long afterwards. Hmm. Ah, I got it. Have you heard about the goldfish that went bankrupt? Hmm. Let me guess, now he's a silverfish, right? No, now he's a silver... Uh... Yes, actually. <laughs> Not too shabby, Doc. But I'm gonna have to give that joke a bronze star. <laughs> bronze. <laughs> <laughs> Silver and gold. <laughs> well, Broad. he seems amused at least. That's Metal a start. Jokes. Okay, um... Ooh, I got it. Uh, I'd like a pizza with uh, pistachios, jelly beans, and a mountain of pineapples. <laughs> Okie dokie, Mr. McGruff. Anything else? Uh, oh... Mustard? Okie dokie, so that's pistachios, jelly beans, pineapples, and mu Mustard?! Don't let's be silly! Now, Lemon, that's different. That really ties the jelly beans and the pistachios together. Ooh, and a little black licorice, maybe a little hint of olives, a splash of green peppers. Ooh, and the candy corns. Mmm, it's sublime. It's delicious. It's good. I... sure? And tie it all together with my mozzarella rope! Wait. Where'd I put the mozzarella rope? Uh, e a e. Uh, don't worry, Doc. I'll find it. I'm confident I'll find it. I've got more confidence than I've had all week for some reason. Glad to hear it, Mr. Jasper. And thank you for allowing me to think outside of the box to help those I care about. <laughs> Ain't no thing, Doc. And I really do appreciate you trying to help. Though, to be honest, you really need to brush up on your comedy. Especially if you're going to try to get me with the refrigerator joke again. <laughs> <laughs> Will do, Mr. Jasper. Oh, and uh, one more thing before you go. Uh, yes? Does you being able to call me mean you finally got a cell phone? I... Uh, uh, confound it, Lightning. <sighs> it's good to be pranking. <laughs>